All right. Hello, people. Smash Keys here, playing a little bit more Shadow Run Returns. Where we last left off, we kind of just kind of walked our way into this insane asylum, I think, where the the spooky murderer might be hiding, or he might be living. I don't know. Possibly. Oh, how come I can't move the? How come I can't move the uh, the screen? That's weird. So, what are we gonna do? I could probably hack this. Oh, so as it stands, what's going on over here? Prop. If I were able to, I could probably hack the computer, sneak in that way. If I were able to, I could probably pick this lock over here. But as it stands, Smash Keys is really only a guy with a gun and a pleasant demeanor. So let's do what we do best and just talk to people. Hey, Donnie. Hello, stranger. You look new here. Are you new here? I'm Smash Keys. How are you? I'm looking for Dr. Holmes. I'm doing a health and safety check for the corporate office. I'm doing a health and safety check. Well, you don't want to talk to me. I don't work here. I'm not crazy enough for that. Hmm. I'm Smash Keys. Who are you? Name's Donnie. That's my name, Donnie. D-O-N-N-Y. I knew I didn't recognize you. I know everybody in this place. Everybody. Well, everybody on the first two floors. Uh, how long have you been here, Don? It's Donnie. Well, I don't know why. I don't know for sure. What year is it? Hmm. You know what, to be honest, I don't know the year. 2054? Does that sound right? 2070? Let's do 2054. That sounds... They only let us watch pre-approved video... Trid... Tr what? Tridio? So, so we watch in the future? Tridios? Some of the patients can have violent reactions to seeing the outside world again. Well, if you're thinking it's 2054, that's a problem. I'm looking for Dr. Holmes. Donnie, help me out. He blanches. I don't think you really want that. No, not really. That sounds creepy, son. Around here, you don't want to attract the attention of the doctor. If you stay quiet, life is much easier. Much easier. I should go. Well, that was less than eventful. Well, Monty. What's, who's this? Is Sal is Salka? And Shannon. Pocahontas. That's racist. Isn't that racist? That's probably racist, right? So I can't hack that. Always ready with your needle. Can I? Kit? No. I feel like I should be able to move the... Am I not hitting the right buttons? What's going on over here? Sorry. Uno momento, por favor. No. I can't... Oh, it's locked on me. That's why. I can't move the cube, the screen around. All right, let's get out of here. Ooh, a spooky door. The music's really not helping much. I'm, I'm feeling very... Is that an arm? Ex Excuse... Oh, what did that say? Dang it! Probably about blood and gore. Let's, go, let's just look at the arm, I guess. Yeah. A severed arm lies next to the zipped-up body bag of the tiny, tiny person. The arm looks human and appears neatly severed at the elbow. There's a large gold ring on the index finger. Its owner probably the occupant of the bag. Let's take the ring. Oh! Super Brawl. Wait. Oh, isn't that the guy? You slip the heavy ring off the cold finger and it feels the... And feel its weight in your hand. Inside, it's an engraving. It reads, Screamers 2048. Wasn't that a guy who went missing? Right? What's going on over here? You find an unlabeled trivet disc. You have no way of playing back the disc at this time. What's over here? Oh, yeah, just walk right over the crime scene. The surgical cart is strewn with gruesome tools, motorized saws, and metal vices. Touch this. Touch all the things. Put your DNA over all of the evidence. The patient information of Huzaya C. Dawson is open on the cyber terminal. Read the medical history. Huzaya Dawson. 7-18-2015? That's not too long ago. He's a baby. He's just a little baby. 1.9 meters? Eh, I don't believe that. Very tiny. Occupation retired. Allergies none. Medication alprazolam. Rabixatine. Reasons for stay. Post traumatic stress disorder. Deceased. Hmm. Hmm, I say. Patient had undocumented cyberware in the left arm, as well as multiple pieces of shrapnel in various locations. 
Complications would likely arise if transplanted to another host. The rest of the body is in excellent condition and can be used to improve other subjects, as well as fulfill some customer requests. What? Is that the same? Yeah, yeah we just walk away. That was, um... Are they cutting people up? Did they cut up that super brawler? What's going on? Let me move my mouse. I'm having a hard time with this. Oh, there we go. A little bit better. So, you... Lock someone up here, and then what? Ki kill them? Chop them up? Chop them up into bits? Part them out? That's weird. So, did you see anything? Mm, I'm not sure how to put this, lady. Lorraine. What? Tell me, did he get released? Yeah. Um, give Lorraine the ring. Oh. Yeah. He... I'm implying it. Thanks for your help. I didn't actually say he died, but it's, the implication is there. The noise of a scratchy PA system blasts through the room. You're a very weird looking man. Poor lady. I don't know. I shouldn't judge. Receptionist. Attention, Smash Keys. Please report to the North Hall to meet here with the administrator. Yeah, I don't remember how anyone talks. It's been a couple days. Look around before... Yep. Speak to Dr. Holmes. Karma gain two. Can I get a level? Can you level me up? Probably can't level up, can I? Can I do anything? Do I even want to increase? Maybe dodge? I don't have charisma. Mm, yeah, maybe seven. We'll wait for seven. Let's get out of here. Come on here. Oh. I swore that was a woman. Alright, let's go. Off to. Ooh, what's going on here? What's this? Well, click. That's the creepy dude. Is it? Is it? Yeah, there he is, Dr. Holmes. The elf standing before you may quite possibly be the ugliest elf you've ever seen. His meticulously clean lab coat, format jacket, and old-fashioned bow tie give him the look of an undertaker from centuries past. As you approach the window, he locks eyes with you, smiling a thin, unnerving smile. Good day to you. How can I help you? Dr. Holmes, a.k.a. Siles Forsberg, how's about we chat? Let's um, wait till we actually ha are in a position to grab him. Hmm, yeah. Oh, uh, well. Well, either way, I'm, I'm letting him know my, what's going on. I'm sorry. Who's dead? He acts generally confused, but he can't seem to drop the smile from his lips. Well, uh, must be holding on to it tightly because, uh, that smile ain't dropping anytime soon. All right. If that's how you want to play it, Dr. Holmes, I have reason to believe you're involved in the Emerald City Ripper killings. Cut the act, Doc. I know you killed the real Holmes, and I know you're running around town carving people up for parts. Well, I do know that. It was a good racket you had going here, but you got sloppy with your kills. Now the Ripper tra Trail leads straight to your door. My word, such a violent paranoia. It's a pity. But what should I expect? This place for broken things, after all, and you are so very broken. Guards. Where are they coming from? No. Nope. Oh, okay. Pause time. Neutral. Surprise round. You just... Did, oh! <laughs> Literally just walks right up to me, shoots me in the back of the head. Alright, okay, let's, um, let's double pop him. Double pop him. Mm. Let's, uh, mm, how many guards do we, you think we have coming? Let's, uh, let's move up. Let's see what's going on. Have we seen anybody? Oh, what's what's this? Not an AFB. Okay, how about you head over here? Okay, anticlimactic, right? Can you pick this up for me? What is this? I didn't pick up guard key. Let's get out of here. Come on, samurai. Oh. Okay. Got six wounds. Let's head up here. Pop him. Pop him. Can we double move up there, Monty? I think we can. Oh, now I can move around. Why can I why can I move around sometimes? That's weird. Can get up there. Pop him. Oh! It's like 20 damage. What the dick? Okay. So let's do this tactically. 
Let's do this. Oh. Let's just, I guess let's all just head up here, right? Uh, the nearby intercom speaker crackles to life. The voice of Dr. Holmes begins to blare from it. Attention all personnel, we have dangerous patients loose inside the facility. Subject is a male human, but may be coordinating with other violent offenders. Use all necessary force. What? I think... I don't know, I'd say it's a team. Oh, he looks... You don't look like a happy, happy camper. Let's all head up here, right? Yeah. Come on. On your bike. And then you too. I'm assuming this is the way we go. Can you open the door? Uh, exit the, this character from the scene. No, no, cancel. Oh. Can anyone pick locks? I think we have to go this way. Confirm? Oh, they, are, they can all leave one by one. That's weird. That is weird. I'm assuming if I all go through, I get to go. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Easy peasy. Magical healing can only heal the most recent wounded character has received. Halls of Despair. As you venture deeper into the asylum, you see that the inside is a ver every bit as bad as the outside. Gone is any attempt to uphold sanitary hospital aesthetics. With peeling paint, cracked floors, and exposed conduit, the pretense of mental care is shattered. In this modern era, Mercy Mental Hospital is a throwback to the barbaric asylums of old. Prisons and torture chambers rather than places of healing. It's clear that Dr. Holmes is spending his money on something other than this facility. You continue on, Holmes can only run so far. Come on, there we go. Alright, um... It, who opens those? Look at us all. Okay, well... How about you pop... Who am I? Man, she needs to get up here. Pop him. And then you, can you get him from here? Pop, pop, pop. And then pop, pop, pop. And then, lady, can you get up there? Ow. Oh, wow. Can you get up there and actually get him? Slice! Ooh. Oh, can you... Are you a friend? Are you a bad guy? No, nope, you're not your bad guy. Okay, can you reload. And then pop. Ow. And then you pop. Ow. That's a lot of damage. Is there anything we can touch over here? Anything on the ground? No. It's all moved up slowly, okay? You just run right up. It's okay. You cost too much, so... Ah, Dr. Holmes. The intercom begins speaking as soon as you approach. Holmes must be watching from somewhere. You don't understand, do you? This place... For broke, this is a place for broken things, but only by further breaking them, they can they be remained. And so we must break you. I've literally, I've just, I've killed like all your men, just all of them. You're not even saying get down or anything. You're just assuming they're bad. Um, if you, oh, yeah. well, hello. Um, I just like. Slice. Slice. Oh. Can you get in there, smash keys? Can you shoot them? Shooting through a target? Okay, well. Let's, let's all just get up in here and, like... Can we, should we, can we double up it again? We're all just trapped. We're all just trapped right in here. No, mine is side blocked. Can we get one more? Yep. And then... And then... Okay, let's head up here. Smash keys. Why is it green now? That was blue. Okay, let's head around the corner. Sorry, it's very turn-based right now. It's very, uh... It's almost like, um... Oh. Stable. Should we not, like, just go through there and just... Alright, room to room. Yeah, oh, they got a gun. There's a gun. 
we run up here. And stay up. And pull on to get up in here. Yeah. Oh, there's more bad guys. Let's, let's all just come in. Let's get in on the party. Oh, okay. Reload. I feel like that's not a thing you do in the future. I mean, you don't have guns and you're just gonna... can't touch anything in here, so let's head back outside. Where's my skis go? Let Monty get up here. Let's send our tanks in first. By the way, trolls are very, very big. So big. Okay, there we go. And then... Scary... Ninja guy with the. Is he the slowest? Nothing, right? I just can get up there. Oh, is that. That's what I thought it was, but that's okay. Take him up here and then plug him. I wonder if he can get through. Can you run through a teammate? Yeah. Assume just one. Oh, I clustered again every single time. There's, I, I, I wouldn't give me line of sight. That's kind of that was cheating. All right. Running through, killing anyone with a pulse. Can you reload again? There you go. I'll head up here. Come on, can, can you just set to follow? And then you as well. Alright. Go touch this. What's this do? The surgical cart contains a gate key. Beautiful. What else? This gate. Oh. There's an unlabeled tri unlabeled trivet disc in the second drawer. All right, let's um, we're going one deeper. Oof. The smell of rotting flesh is an oh, is immense. The remains appear to be from multiple many humans. Oh, they're just being being cutting up people. What am I doing? So are we going further? Oh, I probably have to go back. Yeah. It's okay. Let's go all the way back. Here we go. Oh, Shannon can heal, eh? Maybe we should heal everyone. Hey, Shannon, can you do that for us? Uh, magical spells. Haste, mana bolt. No, she can't do. Can't do nothing. And back up here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Set up here, and then you. Alright, chummers. I think this is gonna be the boss fight. Let's get it. Let's go. Go, Monty, go. Head up, head up. Go on. Get up there. Oh! From another intercom, Dr. Holmes continues. Someone once told me that I was a broken thing, but he also said I could remake myself. He wanted to break me down so I could put myself back together again. And I did, but only after I broke him. I could remake you as well. What wonderfully twisted thoughts must churn in a mind such as yours. But I'm more inclined to use you for parts. That's not very nice. Besides, I'm a treat. Right, Mashki's a, a wandering, wandering detective, a freelance. Oh, oh no. Um, what's up here? Can, um, are you, are you gonna create 
basement. It's huge. It's so big. Um, how about we do some magic? Edible. I think your gun is so much better. Oh. Don't know how you missed. Ooh. And pop, pop, pop. Beautiful. Is there anything I can touch? Nope. Can I hit up? I, I understand the whole turn based thing, but I don't like it. I don't have to like it. Head up there. Thank you. And then and the guy, and then you head up as well. Come on, get up there. And then, nice key, get up there. Let's get out of here. Oh. Hmm. Let's ice these fools. Hey. Look, there's stuff to touch. Love it. Okay, let's take out this guy because he has a really big sword. And you know what? Let's actually turn up. Let's go on back. Use your magic. Oh, look at him. Get up there and fight. Rush him. Nope. Oh, okay. Maybe that was not the best. Can you actually turn up Smash Keys' speed for me? There you go. And then I can just go pop, pop, pop. And then pop, pop, pop. pop. Look at him. Look at us go. Alright, it's over here. Go touch that, Monty. By all means, cop. Oh. The Trivid player holds a collection of personal diaries. Some of the video files are missing. Insert playback trivia one. Got some cut. Got some cutout chips in last week. Tried them out on the patients with violent flashbacks, hoping it would at least mellow them out some. It was like night and day. Once the chip was installed, all of their psychotic brake triggers were blocked. Miss Yeskin had gone four days without attacking the staff or herself. That was pretty good. Number three. In today's interview, Mrs. Y Miss Yeskin told me she hated her legs. Said they were stumpy, unattractive. I haven't done a transplant in years, but I offered to give her new legs. Her face lit up like it was Christmas. At least her cutout can block out the surgery and the painful recovery process. I put in an order to the organ grinders to send me anything leggy. Maybe I'll get some elf legs in and see how she likes them. Gross. I was walking to the organ grinders downtown and there was some kind of event happening at Mega Media. They had a puppet there from Maria Mercurial's label with a Persona Fix chip installed, making her an exact doppelganger. They were just using her to hawk some SimSense re-release of Mercurial Live Show. But it gave me an idea. The cutouts, the body modifications, and my healthy supply of patience. I'm perfectly set up to be a Bunraku fixer. If I can, can find a supplier for Persona Fix chips, I can sell first ser full-service Bunraku. Even program the behavior trees. That's Bunraku. Is that something? Is that something gross? Yeah, probably something gross. Found a buyer for the first Bunraku. A man in the Barrens offered me 20,000 new yen for the female troll I've been modifying. He likes them big, he says. All that's left is to arrange delivery. He says he can put me in touch with some more buyers if I'll accommodate special orders. These morons' lives are already over anyway. At least they can do is line my pockets. That is despicable. You're the worst, worst kind of metahuman. Hmm. Well. Can I? What's this? Oh, there's different types of attacks. I've just been doing melee basic attacks. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've been going on for long enough. Ooh, right? Leaving on a cliffhanger? Doesn't that look like a woman? It must. It, it's definitely a woman. No facial hair or nothing? Yeah, there's no facial hair. No, that's a woman. Pretty little elf. Well, thank you for watching. Smash Key's playing Shadowrun Returns. Right, chummers? 
We'll be back next episode where we finally get to see Dr. Holmes. Probably kill him. Probably, like, he's gonna... We're gonna ask him questions, maybe. He's probably gonna give us the runaround. Can I touch that again? No, it's just the Simpsons thing. Probably gonna give us the runaround, and then we're just probably gonna kill him. Right? But hopefully, hopefully he tells us what's going on. Maybe we can uh, arrest him, you know? Alright. Well, thank you for watching, and you have yourself a nice day!